to, to expand Cardinal McCoy initially. That was that was the uh, the onus for making the purchase. Beyond the fact that it, it was it was a good purchase from a land acquisition standpoint, being contiguous. Um, so we went we went about it as though we were going to expand Cardinal McCoy. What we discovered was this this unique aspect that this this property had, and the varied soils. The soils aren't exactly consistent like they are over on the Vitor Peak side. Uh, it, drove different characteristics in the wine. Um, you've got a lot of the same consistency of Veter Peak characters, so that, that blueberry and that, uh, that minerality, you know, the really fine minerality that you can get off of Veter Peak and the, and the violet aromatics. But you also got an additional uh, bit of red fruit character, and in particular, a softening of the tannins. You know, when you guys, when you think of Lacoya Montveter, which I think we're tasting some of that today, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're at the very end. Um, you, you are, you, there's a tannin impact that you, that you have to be able to manage, not only from a, from a winemaking standpoint, but from a wine buying standpoint, from a wine presenting standpoint. Uh, and that, that really drives that wine more as a collector wine. With with the with this new project, what we what we discovered and what Jess was excited about was here was a wine that has all of the great Viter characteristics, but is much more approachable uh, on a palate standpoint earlier on in its life cycle, uh, and and ultimately is much more approachable uh, by way of our, our the. You know, Jess's idea with pricing um, at a price point. Chris, so, 